Hello, again, hi, I'm Amanda. Um, I work for Boise State's newspaper on campus, The Arbiter. Uh, today we're interviewing Dead. Um, so just to start the interview off, just first and last names and instruments you play. I am Jason Bala and I play guitar. I'm Emily Kemp and I play bass and sing. Perfect. And who's that third per member of that band? Off to the wings yes. is Eric McGrady and he plays the drums. Perfect. So just to start, what's the history of the band? How did y'all come to be? Um, what kind of sparked the interest to become a band? Um, just a little rundown of that. How'd that go? We formed about six years ago and um, basically... I guess we all met kind of randomly through the DIY scene, like Emily's band was on tour from Atlanta, Eric was in charge of uh, guarding any beer that was at any DIY party, and um, so it was kind of just a natural falling into each other, and then we all started playing music, and then kind of just been doing it ever since. Very cool, very cool. Are you all from the Chicago area, or are you from different areas? Where are you all from? Uh, me and Eric are actually from Georgia, I'm from Atlanta. And Eric is from Americus, Georgia. Which okay. Is, and then Jason's from the suburbs of Chicago. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so what bands or artists inspire you for your music or just the general stage presence that you guys have? I mean, um, what inspires you the most? It's kind of like always changing, but okay. I think um, at least like the thing that's more exciting for me is like when you just like find artists that are, have like a really unique voice and like creative spirit and that's kind of the stuff that inspires me a lot so like lately is like Aldous Harding, Earl Sweatshirt. Uh, I love Broncho okay. and um, Elvis. <laughs> Very cool. How would you describe your sound as a band? Um, is there anything like a new term you want to in in like invent or anything to describe how you guys are um, or like the kind of the presence you guys bring? Maybe mess music. Okay. Mess music. I like it. I like it. I would say intuitive and uh, earnest. Maybe a little scary. Okay. I like it. I like it. Very good. We like to instill fear cool. in our listeners. Yeah. Always bring in the fear for sure. Yeah. Um, where did the band name Dead come from and the spelling as well? I mean, it is obviously a little bit different than the English. God. Go ahead. What was that? <laughs> it came from God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Keeping it real. I like it. I like it. On a mountaintop. Okay. I like it. Very cool. Um, so y'all have a new song or a new single out, Eggshells, um, that recently released in September, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is this predicting new stuff for what's to come out? Or is this just kind of like, is just like a little sneak peek of something that's coming out? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I mean, it's kind of like was just one of the songs when we like record and write for records, we just like write a shit ton of music. And so this is like one of the songs that we like really liked, but we it didn't exactly fit with the other songs and like the story we were telling okay. in Blue Skies. So I think it yeah. was kind of like an opportunity to like put it into the world, but not as like, um, I guess, part of the Blue Skies narrative. Cool. Very cool. Do you have anything to add to that? No? Okay. <laughs> um, how, speaking about Blue Skies, how does that differ from, I mean, the new? I know you say it doesn't really fit into, um, it was like something new for eggshells, but how, what is Blue Skies? I mean, what's the story behind Blue Skies? Well, uh, I mean, I guess we, we have put it into words differently, I guess, but for me, it's like kind of just holding on to like optimism that like things change and that there's always like something ahead to maybe look forward to or at least a reprieve. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I guess I, I think the same way, but yeah, it's like really literal. Like you see the blue skies after like a gray winter or the sun comes out and you're like, oh, thank God. I'm always like, yay. Yeah. So sort of that feeling of like looking forward to something, getting through something because there's something coming or actually seeing that something and being like, okay, I can do this. Very cool. Um, also, just for my own curiosity, speaking on like album art and everything, seems like very much primary colors, black and white. I mean, is there a certain inspiration behind that or just kind of just how it turned out to be? I mean, yeah, I think like we try to keep it really simple and okay. um, from some of the first stuff that we wind up doing, it kind of set that tone of like where like water was like this bright yellow thing and then it, I guess each record is kind of taken on its own color. Um, and we like to, we kind of make the artwork ourselves, but then also we collaborate sometimes 
And uh, like the person who made the um, painting for the cover on this one is this person, Dominic Rabelai, who is just like an amazing painter. So we kind of had seen their butterfly and then we're like, asked them if we could use it for the album. Very cool. Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, it's, uh, the butterfly is a very hopeful animal. <laughs> and yeah, we... we uh, yeah, oh my God, I never thought of that. But yeah, it's like childlike. I feel like that's, it was random though. Our, I do like that we continue it though. We keep it very like. Yeah. Very cool. Kindergarten art. <laughs> yeah. What definitely caught my eye as a previous horse girl myself was Water's album, but um, just wanted to kind of, for my own curiosity, like I said, to see where that kind of came from. Um, recently, I mean, I've been asking bands what their experience through COVID has been like. Um, were you recording during this time? I mean, I know it was a three year, it's still ongoing, but how was that whole experience for you from like start to end, basically? I mean, it, we definitely had a lot more time on our hands than we mm-hmm. probably normally would have, like, for me, I've been like touring since 2013, like nonstop. So it was the first time I've ever been like home, really. Yeah. Which was pretty amazing and like kind of, I think, an opportunity to like learn about myself and probably ourselves with like just like a little bit more like time and like mm-hmm. quiet and like routine. Mm-hmm. But I know it was also crazy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I just learned how to uh, like being home. Like, as actually being home, but like as a term, what home was to me was usually being on the road. So, being at home in a still place was cool. Mm-hmm. And now I'm struggling with the balance of being back on the road and being like, but I also like home now. Yeah. And I used to just be like, whatever. Yeah. Let's get in the van. <laughs> now I'm yeah. like, actually, I want to be home. <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, coming from not performing at all, like live, well, like in front of an audience to performing in an audience now and recently starting your tour, how has that been? I mean, finding that balance, how has that been? I mean, I think it's like been pretty natural, but I think if anything, like we're just like taking care of ourselves better. Yeah. We've, I've, a lot of people have been running on this tour. And um, we get the veggie tray every day, so yeah. we're trying to keep it level. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, so I kind of asked this earlier, but just as a reminder, is there new stuff coming out that we can wait, uh, anticipate, or anything like of the sort? We're always cooking, but um, okay. remains to see when the meal will be served. Okay, the anonymity, I like it, I like it. Um, my last question, what's your favorite song to perform live, um, or songs, plural? <laughs> of ours to perform? Yeah, I mean, or if y'all do covers too. Is there anything no, that you actually, really like to do? No, I hate doing covers. Let's set the record straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hate covers. Uh, I don't know. I guess right now I'm really into eggshells because it has um, a cool fuzz pedal moment. Okay. Jason made a pedal and let me use it this tour, and I'm like having a lot of fun. Every time I hit it, I like hit it and then I go. <laughs> like when I turn it off like I did like, yeah like I'm a little kid who just yelled and I was like allowed to or something it's really fun yeah very cool I second that. I'm enjoying playing that one too very cool cool well that's all my questions for me um, do you have anything else you want to add anything you feel that was important that I may have missed anything you just kind of want to say into the microphone is that pretty much it I think we nailed it cool thank you so much for your time I really appreciate it thanks Amanda thanks